Hello and welcome, I am Mono and hi, this is a new format. I'm gonna be doing a map breakdown of Santa Marie Eglise. I think that's how you pronounce it, but in any case, you guys know what this map is. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. It has a really good mix, I think, of both urban and farmland field style combat, which I think is awesome. I really like it. And especially the, the urban map. I think the urban combat in Hell Loose is just incredible. In any case, I will be going back and forth between this, the game with the admin cam, and uh, Strat Sketch, which I've used before, to talk about you know tactics, the approaches into the middle part of the map, what areas are important to control, garrison placement, and just generally talking about how to play the map. So let's get started. This is Samory. It's divided. Uh, the field areas on each side of each for each team are divided by this town. So I'm going to be focusing more on the middle points, which are three here. You can get hospice. You can get Saint Marie, the the church itself, basically, and checkpoint, which is right here. Um, I won't be talking about all 15 possible strong points because that would take forever. So let's just get started. I'm going to switch over to Strat Sketch. All right, so here we go. Samory, as I mentioned, when you start, you're going to have basically this is going to be the capable zone. And what you need to think about when you're going for these middle parts is where are the capping sectors. So for Hospice, we have those four sectors. For Samory, we have those four. And for Checkpoint, the bottom four. This is extremely important because if you're coming as an attacking force, let's say you're the allied, you want to go into checkpoint. You don't want to go, let's say, and attack like this from this north part, right? Because you want to control this area. So that means you should want to attack from, yeah, let's use orange. Um, you want to control this and you want to control this. Because that way, all your guys are always going to be inside the cap sector as they attack. Now, checkpoint is one of the hardest points, I think. So, right here, you can see that's checkpoint, right? It has a couple of buildings. For the allies, you have these fields. You can basically not run. If, if there's any enemies in that house, you can't run across this area. You have to hide and run across here or go completely south here and get inside these fields which will offer some cover but not too much so it's it's really bad i think for the allies here the axis have a better approach with some more uh, structures you know you can set up uh, some ops here or in those trenches and just kind of come in into the strong point uh with way more cover now this is a crucial part of of checkpoint i think and for the axis, it's controlling this trench right here. You know, there's going to be a bunch of allies coming in that way. And also this way right here. For the allied, I know I said attacking south uh, would be ideal. But I generally have more effectiveness going through these buildings. And just trying to get behind the axis. So I'm going to show that in Strat Sketch just a second. Basically, on checkpoint, I like doing this in some capacity. You can have some garrisons built at the start of the game, around here, obviously on Amazon, maybe on on cemetery, depending on what what placement you get uh, of uh, strong points. And now let's talk about Samory. Samory is, I think, one of my favorite points in the entire game. As I mentioned, it's these four sectors, which means that if you control Samory, you want to put garrisons around here, around, you know, maybe here. Oh, come on. And maybe here and either in the church, which I don't recommend anymore or around here somewhere. That way, this is a general tip for every single map in the game. That's better than having, let's say, 
your team places a garrison here and a garrison here and a garrison here. Why? Again, because as soon as you spawn, you spawn outside here, you won't be in the cap sector. You want to have your garrisons ideally within the cap sector itself. So every time someone spawns, they are already starting to count towards the cap. All right. Samuri has some really, really cool uh, angles of attack, I think, that make it a really interesting point. Obviously, the church is a big defensive point, and that's what you, you're going to be fighting for, for that field. Uh, and whoever controls the church itself is going to have an advantage. However, if your axis, these two angles work phenomenally. Going like this, you have a lot of cover. We're going to see that in the game in just a second. Most of the team is going to be coming this way, like from the from the road here and trying to do this, which is not going to work against a good team. Uh, you want to have as much cover as you can before you attack the church. And by doing these angles also, if you're coming from here, you set a garrison uh, at the start of the arrow there, and you come from here like this, chances are the allied have placed a garrison around this area. All right? Because uh, that's, you know, the, the border of the sector. You got a lot of cover. You got roads. Supply truck is going to come here and set up a garrison here or in cemetery, but it's probably going to be around here. So you want to destroy that garrison as soon as you can. For the allied controlling, once again, this basically the same areas, I'd say, trying to control this angle and securing this side of the town is paramount in being able to hold church. What I really like doing when I need to cap back church, if I'm going axis, is trying to place a garrison on the red zone area around this part. Because that's going to be far away enough that you are that it's not going to get locked very easily. And it will allow some flanking into this side, which I'm going to show you guys. If you get a satchel, if you got have a guy with a satchel charge, it's going to be extremely, extremely effective. All right, so this is the part that I wanted to show you guys. You can set, there's a bunch of different courtyards and backyards and whatever you want to call them back here, which make placing garrisons or OPs uh, very, you know, uh, you can do that very easily and hide them very well. So let's say you place a garrison around here, maybe. It's going to be hard to find, you know, it's going to be well secured and it's going to be far away enough from the church itself for you to actually spawn in and attack. This part offers a lot of cover from that church tower. And this area right here is absolutely crucial in order to attack church. Why? Because you can control this area quite easily. You can set an OP here. You can set an OP here and basically go in from this side. And here you have a choice. You either attack the church straight on by just dropping some smoke here and attacking through here, maybe placing placing a satchel here or there. Uh, that's going to take care of basically everyone inside the church and every garrison or, uh, or OP. So that's really good. The other approach is coming all the way here behind the buildings, trying to get rid of whatever spawn points they might have and then attacking the church from this building right here. You can set up an MG here to give you some cover from any from any enemies and, you know, try and get into the church from this this uh, door right here or through this one. I usually, you know, I, I gauge the situation. If I'm encountering some resistance here, I will try and go for the other one, even though the other one is covered by these buildings that are overlooking it. You know, you can have some guys here defending uh, this building right here. I think you can have a shot. No, you can't. Uh, but there is, you know, there is plenty of, of places right here. This one. This guy, if, he ha if they have a guy there, he can cover both entrances pretty well. But that's basically the gist of it. That north part is... I think it's it's incredibly good for attacking church. This south side, you have a lot of empty terrain that you need to cross. It's not as good. And the front side is just a mess. 
there is a lot of cover because the trees offer some concealment, but it's it's easy to control from the from the door here, from the bell tower, from the sides, from behind this truck. There's like really a lot of areas that you get can get uh, shot from. There's also some buildings you can go in here. So from these buildings, you can control the access into the church quite easily from the front. Now let's go to hospice. And this, uh, you might have seen this area in a clip recently that I uploaded. Fighting for this house and this back area right here. This is just, just at the edge of the map. So the Axis can set up a, a garrison here and attack quite easily into hospice. So let's go into strat sketch. But first, I'm going to show you again this area. This is a very secluded area. There's only one angle of attack pretty much there and here as well. But, you know, it's it's a this is you're going to find garrisons here. Let's just say it like that. You're also going to find sometimes garrisons around this area as well. So hospice, the capping sectors are going to be these four. And you can see right here, that road I was showing you ends right there. You can set up a garrison right there if you're if you're German. Or you're going to have to set one here. I'm going to show that. Uh, that's like an open field, basically. I'm going to show that in a second. For the allies, these buildings right here are fairly often used for garrison placement. Also, these ones as well are, are pretty good. You can see these respectively, those are the buildings right there. And those buildings right there are here on the map, which you can also place a garrison on. These parts are not going to be, you know, as fantastic for the attacking of hospice because you have a lot of open terrain to cover. Uh, you're going to have to move through all this area. But these wheat fields, if you want to get straight into town, they offer quite some cover. So hospice, what you want to do, again, this is kind of general advice for the entire game maybe, but you want to push as far in as you can. You want to control that that backside of the, the house if you can. Maybe get some control in this area. But most of the German forces, most of the time are going to be coming here or coming around here some way. So, you know, keep focusing on that. And also these houses right here, which I was showing earlier, that's going to be a main focal point for the, uh, for the German assault. So keep that in mind. The reason you want to control that area is because from the house, again, I've said this many times, you cannot defend from the strong point outwards. So being in the house and trying to defend outwards, it's just not going to happen. You're going to get overwhelmed. So you want to have some presence in the house, maybe a couple of guys there, and then move your forces and try to secure this area and try to secure this area. That's going to hold the German advance at bay and you're going to be able to intercept any, you know, unexperienced tankers that are just going to go straight down the main road straight down this way. If you get there fast enough, you're going to be able to intercept and destroy those tanks. Again, hospice, just like uh, the rest of the town, it is extremely, extremely important that you control these backyards. Uh, there's going to be a lot of OP placement around here. You want to set garrisons on both sides of the street so you don't get overwhelmed from one side and try and control this area right here. Again, this is a very sneaky area for the Germans to attack. So if you're allied, pay close attention to this area right here. And as I was mentioning, this building, again, you can see it's very, you know, Germans are gonna place their OPs here or inside this courtyard. So you need to take control of this building. This is gonna secure, if you have people here and if you have people on that building right right here on this house uh it's going to be fairly easy to control this backside and a well as well get some shots into whoever's coming in from this side as well now for the rest of the map i'm not going to go into the specifics but again i'm just going to say the basics you know make sure you pay attention to which sectors count towards the cap and plan your attack accordingly 
I see a lot of times trying to attack these these southern points. A lot of infantry coming in, uh, especially depending if you get if you maybe are coming in from church. A lot of infantry doing this. When obviously you want to get into the sector as fast as possible, so maybe you can place an attack garrison around this area and attack from there. For the for the allies, it's going to be the other way around. Obviously, like place a garrison here, place a garrison here, and attack, you know, this way. Um, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I, again, I would like to cover all possible points, but it's, it's just too much. Uh, hopefully, you know, you gained some insight from, um, from this video and let me know down in the comments, give it a like, let me know down in the comments, what maps you want to see bro broken down. What else do you want to see in a map breakdown? Some stuff that I might have not mentioned. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.